Good morning, everybody. It is way too early. It is 6.10. Is it going to focus? Is it going to focus? Uh, you get the idea. 6.10 in the morning. Today is a really special day. It's Bell Let's Talk Day. And I'm going to be going to 105.5 Hits FM today to talk with Dan about Bell Let's Talk, my music, and how mental health has affected all of that. So, let's go. I've always had this plan and I wanna know I still love you With faces in this crowd And you got a beauty My mind is in this game But you gotta move me and you don't get to see That you're the one for me And I know this So often we have learned And I will take my turn And I know You're standing there with me The uglier I get Beauty never rests and I know that I still So my camera actually died partway through getting ready, so all you see is the finished product. It took a little bit longer than this. Halt. Say good morning to the vlog. Uh, good morning, vlog. <laughs> I don't know, I, I like to think that if I can share my story and one person who needs to hear it can hear it, then it'll make just that much of a difference. So, yeah, yeah I'm joined by uh, Julian Kellen this morning and uh, we'll also be joined uh, later on this morning by Vanessa Morgan from uh, Cam's Kids. A charity which uh, you're involved with in uh, what they do is uh, is take testimonials and uh, as you said uh, if you can help one person then you know you've, you've really done a, a job and that's what they've been doing in offering these testimonials and, and opening the eyes to so many I think teens and young adults of how many people deal with these kinds of anxieties and stresses on a regular basis so you're not alone absolutely and I, I, I I, I imagine, would, would that have, I'm, I'm thinking it would have made a difference to you. Um, you talk about it in in the blog that you have on uh, Cam's Kids, that, um, or, or the article on, on Cam's Kids, that it was about grade eight, that yeah. real anxiety started. Yep. Um, had you had a, a something like Cam's Kids there, do you think it would have changed or lessened the anxieties? Probably. I think at the time. Did you feel alone? Yeah, luckily for me, my parents were very supportive of, as you know, they are with everything. But um, yeah, so I was able to, you know, go into therapy and kind of discover what was happening, which was something that I think a lot of people, young people don't get the chance to do. There's a stigma. Yeah, exactly. And so I think that in one way I had that support there and I didn't need to necessarily feel so alone, but at the time... People didn't talk about it as much, so I feel like within my class and within my peers and everybody that I knew, I felt like I was the only person. And I wasn't, but I felt like I was. Julian Kellen, Ocean Floor. It is Dan Pollard, 8.15 here on The Morning. Dan, Julian Kellen joining us here this morning, along with uh, Vanessa Morgan from Cam's Kids. And we are talking about Bell Let's Talk Day. Anxieties, uh, stress, and uh, for some depression as well and uh, ways to uh, to try and, and help. And uh, that song resonates. Uh, I know for, for my girlfriend, um, the first time she heard it, it, she says every time still, uh, it, it just rocks her right to her, uh, her soul. Um, and if you listen to the lyrics, you know there are some very deep thoughts behind them. Uh, Julian, wh where did the song come from? The song for me sort of originated from a time in my life, I would say about grade 11, where I was struggling the most with the anxiety and things that I was going through. And I ended up going through um, a depressive episode. I was diagnosed with major depressive disorder. And um, 
So that this song for me stems from that experience and the feelings that I had during that time and the way that I kind of felt it could potentially be affecting my friends and family. Um, and then the song, as I was recording it and we were mixing it and we were finalizing it, the song kind of took a new meaning because during that time, as you know, my dad went through a lot last year. Um, and so, yeah, the song became sort of... Um, Almost a rallying cry, I guess. Yeah, it, it had different meanings to it, so... It's a very important song to me, obviously. Vanessa, and I think, uh, you know, uh, that the song kind of uh, is reflective in what Cam's Kids does as well, in that uh, there are so many, and maybe that's why there's been that silence. They don't want to draw other people down if they have that depression or anxiety, where Cam's Kids is saying, it's okay, come out, talk about it, you're not alone. Yeah, one thing that we really encourage uh, through Cam's Kids is to share your story. By sharing your story, you show other people you're not alone. I've gone through this. I actually did get through it, and I think you can too. The organization really came out of um, uh, Cam's struggles uh, as he went through high school and those transition periods, uh, going from junior high to high school and from high school to, uh, to university as well because of those added stresses when you're supposed to be a little bit more mature and yet you i'm sure it's going through some minds wait a minute i'm not handling this so well yeah we see it um specifically from the transition to high school to university we see a lot of young people's anxiety being heightened because their routine has completely changed they're on their own they don't have their parents they've started making their own meals lectures are very stressful and what university and college brings, they're not used to that in high school. Julian, what was it like for you? Because you made that transition from high school, and I remember we were talking to you. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's uh, it, time to put on the big girl pants because yeah. now I, I, I want to make music my living, yeah. and you're leaving that high school behind, and there is a comfort level in that. Um, I kind of talked about this a little bit in my sharing stories, in my article. Um, I had a huge issue when I was transitioning from elementary school to high school, which took about a year for me to kind of work through and get through. And then in my grade 12 year, I found that because I had gone through um, cognitive behavioral therapy twice, um, I, I knew that I had tips and tricks to kind of work through my, my anxiety, which made it a lot easier. But with that being said, I, I did struggle a lot transitioning from graduating to coming into the, the real world because even though I wasn't going to university like all my friends, I which sort of made me feel guilty that I was feeling that way because my friends had these stresses that I didn't even know about. Um, because I wasn't doing that, um, I was still going from having a routine, a weekly schedule of being busy and knowing exactly what I was doing to kind of being on my own and having to build things for myself and build a schedule for myself and not knowing what your future holds can bring on a lot of anxiety too, obviously. Julian Kellen joining us this morning along with Vanessa Morgan from Cam's Kids. And I, I guess that's the point, Vanessa, we'll wrap up uh, this segment with that, is that uh, this is ongoing. It's not a, uh, a quick fix, a simple pill that uh, for many, you know, you, you've got to keep talking right through your, your life. Yeah, I mean, anxiety is going to come and go. Um, some people, it lasts longer than others, but Hands Kids is here to tell you that you can get through it, and anxiety is something that can definitely be overcome. So check out our tips and tools on our website, camskids.com, and hopefully some of those will help you get through it. Let's keep talking. That's the biggest thing, and we will be talking here this morning and uh, continue to talk on Bell Let's Talk Day. Check out our Facebook page, 105.5. FM Uxbridge Radio. Um, Julian, you talk about um, that you had a place to turn, and I know in looking at your article, uh, you've got some tips for some people, and you, you say to talk. Don't struggle in silence. Yeah. And uh, that's reach out to friends, family, and a teacher. Is there still that fear that you might reach out to a friend and they might shun you a little bit because, oh, okay, well, you got that going on. I don't really need that in my life. Um, I think that can definitely be a fear that people have. When I was in grade 11 and I was going through kind of that second spurt of uh, really bad anxiety and um, among other things, um, I initially didn't reach out 
to people. And I kind of let it fester. I only told one of my friends. I didn't even tell my parents that it was as bad as it was. Um, because you do have that fear. You have that fear that people will think like that you're a burden to people. You don't want to. I've heard that yeah. word so many times, being a burden. Um, and so I let it fester and it just sat and it built up inside of me. And eventually you, you just can't deal with it anymore. And I kind of talked, touched on that as well in my, um, in my article. But I think what's most important is that your friends are your friends because they love you. Um, and... If you can't talk to your friends about how you're feeling, then they're maybe maybe they're not as close to you as you thought. I kind of I kind of feel, um, but also give them a chance to react. I think that you'd be surprised at how uh, much people care and how much people are willing to help you out. And if you don't feel like you can talk to your friends or you don't really want to talk to your parents about it, then absolutely reach out to a teacher that you trust or a guidance counselor. Uh, we have counselors in town that work out of um, the clinic just by Rexall. I believe they still are there. I went there initially. Um, and then from there, you can decide if you want to take more of a, um, a psychologist sort of route, if that's what you need. But I think that there's so many options for, um, for reaching out that you just you don't have to stay in silence anymore. It was a very awesome vlogged. morning. Yes, you have been vlogged, yes. stamped and approved. Stamped and approved. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yes, exactly. Well, thank you so much for the interview today. Well, thanks for coming in, and thank you for uh, reaching out to us to uh, to come in to talk about it because it's so important to talk. It's about my it. pleasure. So we just finished up in uh, 105.5. We were talking about mental health and Bellet's Talk Day. Cam's kids. Cam's kids. Supporting young people struggling with anxiety. Yes, Vanessa was. Uh, there as kind of the, uh, what would you say? Spokesperson. Spokesperson for uh, Cam's kids today, so it was awesome to- Went well. Yeah, it was awesome to spend the morning with you. All right, so thank you guys so much for tuning in and watching and listening to the interview today. I wanna give a huge shout out to 105.5 and Dan. Thank you so much for having me and for your continuous support. It really means so much to me. Bellet's Talk Day is an incredibly important day. I'm so proud of how much this movement has grown and how many people are supporting it. By the time you guys watch this vlog, Bellet's Talk Day will be over. Let's make sure that the conversation is not. Down below, I've linked some different mental health organizations and helplines, um, including Cam's Kids, so please check those out. Uh, Huge shout out to Cam's kids for all the work that they do. I'm so proud and honored to be a part of it. Thank you guys so much again for watching. Take care of you and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. I still love you. We're faces in this crowd and you got beauty. My mind is in this game, but you got me.